So in talking about warm air rising and cool air sinking, there's two different phenomena that occur on Earth. We either have cyclones or anticyclones. So cyclones is where we have those areas of low pressure where it's all this warm air that's rising and spiraling upwards. And that's what's called an area of low pressure. And you can tell because if you look at a weather map, there's a big letter L. Those red L's mean that's an area of low pressure. So the winds there are going to be going in a counterclockwise direction. They're spiraling around there counterclockwise. Do you believe me? Let's take a look at the wind map. The wind map, we can kind of look at the map and see we're going in a counterclockwise direction. This is actually what the winds look like in the United States right now. It's pretty cool. So those are going to be cyclones. Cyclones are going clock, counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere. Now, the opposite would be those areas of high pressure. Those are what are called anticyclones. So an anticyclone, that's where all the cold air is sinking. It's coming down. It's spitting outwards. And that's going, count, that's going clockwise. Cool air sinking clockwise. So same thing. We can see that all these areas of high pressure, those big H's mean that's where the cold air is sinking. Cold air sinking, cold air sinking, low pressure, warm air rising. That's what those letters mean when you're looking at a weather map. We can see that here as well. Looking for directions where it's going clockwise, this must be an area of high pressure. Counterclockwise, it must be an area of low pressure. And not only that, so that's for the United States, we can look at the entire Earth. And whoa, you can definitely see this right here, this middle area where all the winds around it are going clockwise. Because they're going clockwise, that means it is an anticyclone. All right.